Hello, my name is Don Forrest, Senior Advisor for New Waving Law Group. Today, we're going to focus on National Interest Waiver approvals for applicants with no publications. The principle behind the National Interest Waiver Green Card is that an applicant's work in science, art, professional fields, or business is beneficial to the national interest of the United States in terms of education, economy, and culture. It is the national interest for the United States to retain this applicant and waive the PERM labor certification requirement. The applicant usually needs to have a master's degree or higher or a bachelor's degree plus more than five years of relevant experience or meet several requirements of exceptional ability. Today, we're going to discuss a recent case published by the United States Citizenship and Immigration Service for guidance and reference. As we know, national interest waiver applicants must meet the following three criteria, or as they commonly referred to, prongs. Under the first prong, the work the national interest waiver applicant plans to do in the United States must be of substantial intrinsic merit and national importance. This criterion focuses on the specific work the applicant will be doing and analyzes the benefits. Regarding national importance, USIS considers the potential impact of the applicant's future work, which can be demonstrated through recommendation letters, papers, citations of their work, and peers' opinions and reactions. In the case provided by USIS, the applicant has a master's degree related to health and manages a clinical database, thus connecting with health research and national importance issues of the United States. USIS recognized in this case that this satisfies the substantial merit in health. Due to the applicant's efforts linked to improve medical advances, it possesses national importance for the United States, even though no economic benefits have been achieved yet. The second prong, the National Interest Waiver applicant is well positioned to advance his or her endeavor. This criterion is crucial and focuses on the applicant's personal qualifications, including education, certificates, skills, experience, past achievements, future plans or models, achieved milestones, and interest from others. Those interests from others include users, investors, customers, and other entities. For researchers and professionals, common evidence includes papers, peer recognition, media reports, membership in professional organizations, and awards for the individual's achievements. In this specific case provided by USIS, the applicant did not mention papers or citations, but emphasized the importance of his or her position for the project, the uniqueness of the project, and mentioned also that he or she manages clinical data, regular reports, and collaborates with colleagues in data management and quality control, which requires high personal and professional qualifications. The applicant supervisor in this case provided a support letter stating that the job requires special knowledge, specific understanding, professional experience and training, and mentioned that the applicant has years of experience, is unique and irreplaceable in their organization. The letter also mentioned the employer's overall achievements in the field. Under the third prong, overall waiving labor certification requirements is beneficial to the United States. For this third prong, it can be argued that even if there are qualified Americans who can do the applicant's job, granting the applicant a green card still benefits the United States more. In view of the applicant's past achievements, outstanding qualifications, significant contributions that can be made now and in the future. In this specific case, USIS agreed that the applicant meets the above three prongs and approved the National Interest Waiver application even though the applicant did not have a PhD and did not have any professional papers and citations. We can see that a professional with a master's degree without papers and citations 
can still have the opportunity and a good chance to obtain national interest waiver approval by emphasizing the importance of the project and his or her contribution and irreplaceability. This is especially important in recent years when many companies have suspended PERM support for green cards and winning the H-1B lottery is also very challenging. For more information on National Interest Waiver Application Standards, including how to meet the above three prongs and highlighting your strong points, please refer to our law firm's website and our videos. Thank you very much, and we appreciate your listening to this video regarding NIW applications.